Ladies and gentlemen, in the past 24 hours, Taiwan has experienced four earthquakes, ranging in magnitude from 4.9 to 5.1. This seismic activity raises a critical question. Could these smaller tremors be a precursor to a much larger disaster? As we dive into this pressing topic, let's examine the risks, preparations and challenges Taiwan faces in dealing with such natural phenomena. Taiwan is situated in one of the most seismically active regions in the world, on the Pacific Ring of Fire. This makes the country particularly vulnerable to frequent earthquakes, especially along the Chelungpu Fault Line, which is known for its high activity. While these smaller tremors may seem insignificant at first glance, history teaches us that they can sometimes foreshadow much larger seismic events. Just last week, Taiwan experienced a 6.4 magnitude earthquake, shaking several cities and towns. And who can forget the devastating 7.4 magnitude earthquake from April 3rd, 2024, which caused significant destruction. Despite the scale of that disaster, the loss of life was remarkably low, with nine fatalities and damage to 1,000 buildings. This is a testament to Taiwan's advancements in modern architecture and disaster preparedness. However, it also serves as a reminder of the constant threat posed by nature. <laughs> This recent surge in seismic activity is causing growing concern among experts and the public alike. Could these smaller quakes be the prelude to a larger catastrophe? Scientists suggest that such patterns of smaller tremors can indeed indicate increased tectonic stress, which may lead to a major earthquake. Still, predicting the exact timing and scale of such events remains one of the greatest challenges in seismology. In response to these threats, Taiwan has taken significant measures to prepare for earthquakes. President Lai ching te recently reassured the public, stating, Our country continuously enhances its capacity to deal with major earthquakes. We are implementing advanced safety measures to protect our citizens. This statement reflects Taiwan's commitment to proactive disaster management, but are these measures enough to handle a potential large-scale event?
To understand the urgency of preparation, we need only look back to the tragic 1999 earthquake. That disaster, which measured 7.7 .7 in magnitude, claimed over 2,400 lives and caused widespread devastation. It was a wake-up call for the nation, prompting the implementation of stricter building codes, improved emergency response systems, and advanced seismic monitoring technologies. These changes have undoubtedly saved lives, but the question remains, is Taiwan truly ready for the next big one? Probably there's an earthquake. What do I do, go under the table? Oh my fucking God. I don't know what to do. The whole building is shaking, bro. Oh my fucking God. Do I get out? I don't know what to do. While the government emphasizes preparedness, the unpredictability of earthquakes keeps the public on edge. Experts are closely monitoring the Chelungpu fault line for any signs of heightened activity. At the same time, Taiwan's innovative infrastructure, including earthquake-resistant buildings and early warning systems, provides a sense of security. Still, as history has shown, even the most advanced technologies cannot fully prevent destruction when nature strikes. This situation is a reminder of the delicate balance between human resilience and the forces of nature. Taiwan's ability to adapt and learn from past disasters is commendable, but continuous improvement is essential. The recent tremors underline the importance of staying vigilant, educating the public, and ensuring that emergency systems are always ready to respond. As we wrap up, let us remember that earthquakes are a part of life for those living in seismically active regions like Taiwan. The key is to remain prepared, stay informed, and never underestimate the power of nature. We will continue to monitor this developing situation and provide updates as new information emerges. Stay safe, stay prepared, and thank you for watching.